Hello everyone, this is your German teacher Erhan Özdemir from Istanbul, Turkey. In this lesson, we are going to learn regelmäßige Verben, which stands for regular verbs. We are going to learn the conjugation of regular verbs. Gehen stands for going, okay? To go or going, gehen, okay? And here are the pronouns for this. Ich stands for I. Du for you, er, he, sie, she, is, it. But er, sie, is is also related with the articles der, die, das. And we'll be seeing this also in furthermore other lessons. Wir stands for we, ihr for you. Uh, this stands for the second plural form, sie. Uh, this is the formal way of saying you and Z stands for they, okay? And as we conjugate gehen, here we have ich gehe. So this en, we throw that away, we drop this and instead we write ich gehe, okay? And let's say I go to school, school stands for die Schule. Die Schule stands for school, okay? So, if I say, I go to school, I'll say, ich gehe in die Schule, okay? And here we have, du, you go to school, then I'll say, du gehst in die Schule. Du gehst in die Schule. As you have noticed, the ending is st. AN drops and instead comes ST. Er or Z, that would be then geht, okay? And then I would say, er geht in die Schule, or for a female, I would say, sie geht in die Schule, okay? And as you will notice, AN drops and instead comes T. When I say, we go to school, Wir gehen in die Schule. The verb remains the same as it is, okay? In the infinitive form. So I'll say, we go to school. This is in English. Wir gehen in die Schule. For the second plural form, ihr geht in die Schule. Ihr geht in die Schule. That's for you go to school. Uh, but uh, this is uh, if I mention a group. Okay, uh, uh, two and more persons actually, and that would be then ihr. Okay, then I'll say ihr geht in die Schule. If it is the formal way of saying you, then I'll say sie gehen in die Schule. It stays the same, it remains as infinitive, and sie form that would be then they, they go to school, then this would be. Sie gehen in die Schule. Please repeat after me. Ich gehe in die Schule. Ich gehe in die Schule. Du gehst in die Schule. Du gehst in die Schule. Er geht in die Schule. Sie geht in die Schule. Es geht in die Schule. Wir gehen in die Schule. Wir gehen in die Schule. Ihr geht in die Schule. Ihr geht in die Schule. Sie gehen in die Schule. Sie gehen in die Schule. Let's continue with another verb, which is trinken. This stands for to drink. Here we have das Wasser. Das Wasser, das, uh, this stands for water, okay? So what do I say when I say I drink the water? I'll say ich trinke das Wasser. So this is conjugated as e, uh, because it's in the ich form. That's why I'll say Ich trinke das Wasser. I drink 
the water, okay? What if I say you drink the water, then uh, I'll put ST instead, AN. So then I'll say du trinkst das Wasser. Du trinkst das Wasser because AN drops and instead comes ST. When I say he drinks the water, the conjugation will be T ending, so trinkt. The conjugation of trinkt, this stands for the third plural, uh, excuse me, the third singular form. So I'll say er trinkt das Wasser, he drinks the water. Sie trinkt das Wasser, which stands for she drinks the water. Es trinkt das Wasser, it drinks the water. Okay. Here we have wir, which stands for we. We are drinking the water. Then I'll say wir trinken das Wasser. The verb remains the same. So I'll say wir trinken das Wasser. Here we have ihr trinkt das Wasser, which stands for the second plural form here. Uh, and this is, uh, as I mentioned before, a group, uh, two and more people are, you know, uh, mentioned in this. And then I'll say, ihr trinkt das Wasser. The formal way of saying you, sie, you are drinking the water, sie trinken das Wasser, and they will be then, sie trinken das Wasser. Please repeat after me. Ich trinke das Wasser. Ich trinke das Wasser. Du trinkst das Wasser. Du trinkst das Wasser. Er trinkt das Wasser. Sie trinkt das Wasser. Es trinkt das Wasser. Wir trinken das Wasser. Wir trinken das Wasser. Ihr trinkt das Wasser. Ihr trinkt das Wasser. Sie trinken das Wasser. Sie trinken das Wasser. So let's continue with another verb which is common. Common stands for to come. Okay? Here we have aus Istanbul. Aus stands for from from Istanbul, then I'll say aus Istanbul, okay? So, common, if we conjugate common in the ich form, what do I say then? Then I'll say ich, komme, e and drops, and I conjugate this with ich, komme, I put e, and then I'll say I come from Istanbul, which is ich komme aus Istanbul. Ich komme aus Istanbul. What do I say for you? When I say you come from Istanbul. Easy. A and drops. Instead comes ST. Then I'll say du kommst aus Istanbul. Du kommst aus Istanbul. What is the changing? A and drops and ST comes. Okay. But where? if it is do, okay? Here we have er, sie, es. How do we conjugate for er, sie, es? We put t instead of an. So what does this have to mean? What does this mean? Er kommt aus Istanbul. This means he comes from Istanbul. So he, if this is a male, then I'll say er, kommt aus Istanbul. If the, uh, the person I mentioned is a female, then what do I say? I put sie, sie. So sie kommt aus Istanbul. She comes from Istanbul. When I mention es, es, uh, this has to do with the das article. So uh, we have in the further more uh, other videos, uh, uh, further other more uh, video lessons will have these. So is it actually stands for das? Okay. So uh, this doesn't have to be 
uh, an animal or anything else. It could be also an animal, but also uh, some other uh, thing. It could be, let's say, das Kind, which stands for the child. And then I mentioned this with es. But as I say, we will be going step by step. And that's why uh, we should see this as a structure, okay? So when I say it goes, then I'll say es kommt aus Istanbul. It comes from Istanbul, okay? Here, when I mention we come from Istanbul, what do I say then? Wir kommen aus Istanbul. As you have noticed, wir, there is no changing. It remains the same. So, I'll say wir kommen aus Istanbul. What do I say for ihr? Ihr, I mention a group of people, right? And these people are uh, yeah, here with me, beside me, and I say, you come from Istanbul. What do I say then? Ihr kommt aus Istanbul. The conjugation ends with T. Ihr kommt aus Istanbul. When I mention someone in a polite way, in a formal way, then I use the capital for Z, then this would be Sie kommen aus Istanbul, but also if I mention them, I say they come from Istanbul, then I'll say Sie kommen aus Istanbul. Of course, uh, when I write these in a uh, sentence, I write these, of course, with a capital, right? But as you, uh, uh, as you have noticed, there are three kinds of Z. This Z stands for she. This Z stands for the formal way of saying you. And this Z stands for them. Ich komme aus Istanbul. Ich komme aus Istanbul. Du kommst aus Istanbul. Du kommst aus Istanbul. Er kommt aus Istanbul. Sie kommt aus Istanbul. Es kommt aus Istanbul. Wir kommen aus Istanbul. Wir kommen aus Istanbul. Ihr kommt aus Istanbul. Ihr kommt aus Istanbul. Sie kommen aus Istanbul. Sie kommen aus Istanbul. In this video, we've learned regelmäßige Verben, which stands for regular verbs. I hope you enjoyed it. But next, there is the irregular verbs video coming. For this, I want you to subscribe to our channel, leave comments, share this video with those who want to learn German, and please don't forget to hit the bell button. In every video, I share with you a Turkish word, right? Or a Turkish phrase. And uh, in this video, I want to share uh, another phrase, which stands for bye-bye, okay? And this means in Turkish, güle güle. Güle güle. So, see you next time. I say, güle güle.